So what happens physiologically when we get into ice baths? Well, um, lots of things. Mm, of course. <laughs> one of the things that it does, and this is the same with what's now called cryotherapy. Uh, what happens is you get an activation of your sympathetic nervous system. And there's lots of interactions between the nervous system and uh, hormonal system. So you're going to get a shot of adrenaline <laughs> and, and uh, there's cascade effects. So uh, dopamine uh, secreting neurons or releasing neurons are responding uh, to the excitation, to the activation uh, of, the, uh, of the sympathetic nervous system. So yeah, people go into cryotherapy and they come out and they say, wow, I really feel different. I really feel alerted and I feel uh, energetic. Uh, and therefore this must really work. Well, what it is, is they've just got a big shot of adrenaline. <laughs> so you are gonna feel different after you've got a shot of adrenaline, what it's, whether it's because all of a sudden you almost stepped on a rattlesnake or, or because you've been exposed to a very, very low temperature. Is that why it's probably best to um, do an ice bath early in the day rather than at night? Uh, well, I, you know, I, I really couldn't say what's best. Uh, certainly, if you have trouble waking up in the morning, <laughs> that's going to help. You know, splash of cold water on the face is a, a traditional way of waking up. So sure, uh, I don't know whether that's better uh, for any particular treatment but uh, it certainly do, is arousing. Now, there are people who use ice baths for treating hyperthermia. So athletes, for example, um, uh, if they uh, are suffering from borderline heat stroke, one of the first uh, line treatments is to put them in a cold water bath. So unfortunately, cold water baths are not always readily available. So the technology we have, which extracts heat from the body is a first line uh, treatment for individuals that are suffering from hyperthermia. And then athletes also use cold water baths to decrease inflammation. So, uh, you know, if you have a, a sprain, uh, you're going to put ice packs on it. And what that does is it decreases the inflammation uh, which will lead to soreness if it is allowed to uh, continue to, to increase.